So, uh, quick shop update. Not much going on up here. Got rid of some, some more trash. Got to still organize some of my tools. This hasn't changed. I drug this over and I cleaned up this entire wall. And it's hot up in the rafters today. <laughs> I gotta move my truck forward to finish taking down those two wires. And there's some more stuff along the top up there, but I'm working a section at a time. So uh, this is all cleared out, swept up, and pretty much ready to go. And that's pretty much about it. Uh, I put a post up on Instagram with this. That's a me. Uh, first sticker of my own in my shop. And there'll be more of that to come, I'm sure. Uh, I might have mentioned that before, but I got tunes. Um, just temporary set up until I get my big party speakers. That might annoy the neighbors, but oh well. It's either a metal shop or really crappy music. <laughs> Either way, that's about it. Um, tomorrow is probably going to be, if I get up the gumption and it's not as blazingly hot today as it is today, I'm probably going to prime this section. Uh, and then once that's primed, I'll let it dry and prep for putting color on there because I want to get this whole side done. Um, I'm still fiddle farting around with getting the restroom done. I had to wait a little bit because um, the water company had to come in and put in a new meter or rewire it or something. Um, so I had to hold off on, on that. But I've got the bill of materials for that and I'm probably just going to order them and have uh, Lowe's deliver it for 20 bucks because that's not a bad deal. And uh, once I get all the rest of the crap out of my shop, then I will pretty much be ready to go. I'll have that uh, put in and get the bathroom done and then continue around there. I got to start working on this thing. Um, I found my Mighty Vac set up, so I'm going to vacuum bleed the clutch line and um, make sure all the air lines, out, air is out of that line because it's still, especially when it warms up, the uh, the um, clutch does it gets lower and lower. So that's definitely something that's got to get taken care of because uh, I need this because. There's some other tools and equipment that I'm looking to get, so I need to uh, have something to pick that stuff in. And I've 100% made up my mind for um, putting in a new computer into this thing. And I've got most of the wiring harness uh, from another truck, but it's pretty easy to adapt. I've, and I think the only thing extra I'll need are a couple of sensors and um, some wiring which I've got, wire which I've got. So it shouldn't really be too hard to actually get this thing not running at single digits uh, fuel economy, which is pretty horrific. I'm certainly not used to that, especially after driving this thing because I've never gotten under 30 miles per gallon with this except for like once um, and that was probably just a really crappy tank of gas so yeah stuff's getting cleaned up organized a little bit better this is helping get a lot of crap up off the floor um, it's not really organized yet I'm just mostly throwing stuff in um, trying to keep it sort of organized but uh, that's something that'll develop as I go along. And yeah, that's pretty much, I like having a spot to put my power tools on there. 
Um, I might actually eventually end up putting um, charging stuff on the side here. Uh, I think that'd actually be pretty cool to have a shelf with the chargers on there and I can just plug it in, have the batteries charge on there whenever I dock this thing, wherever it's going to be. So, yeah, that's about it. Um, nothing exciting, but stuff is happening and uh, it's moving and it's hot today. Um, that's why the door is closed. It hasn't been open all day because uh, the sun would have come in this morning. It would have been even hotter in here. And if you put your hand on it, it's actually pretty warm. So before the winter comes, again, I've got a plan for fixing the light leaks, which is air, and then uh, probably insulating the door to keep some extra heat in because uh, I got my first two months bill for the gas uh, for that heater and oh my goodness it's not it's not break your back high but it's not what I want to pay every month um, to keep this place from freezing and since the only plumbing is going to be over there and that's going to be heated uh, I'm actually anticipating not actually needing to heat the rest of the shop um, or the outside of the shop here the office is going to be uh, climate controlled and uh, that's about it but that's in the future right now I gotta worry about getting this thing running better and um, getting the bathroom done and getting the rest of the walls painted because I'm starting to get a little antsy about finishing this stuff up um, because we've got another race weekend in two weeks and then after that we've got a break for a while so it's been uh, a lot of running around and getting stuff done so anyway uh, hope you'll like the video subscribe there's more coming uh, well a lot more planned um, and uh, I'd appreciate it if you followed along with me gave me suggestions because I could use them. I am not an expert when it comes to a lot of this renovation stuff. Um, so I take most criticism pretty well, unless it's just outright antagonistic. Um, but if you've got suggestions, I'm all ears. But uh, that's about it. So thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you soon. Bye.